What's happening guys? I'm here back in the same damn kitchen. Remember, last week I told you to one, quit being a little bitch, two, to find a good program and stick to it, and lastly, to judge a program based on long-term results? Where'd my shirt go? After all that yelling, after all that bickering I did, after all that bitch slapping and calling you names, guess what I get in return? You know, I actually got a lot of good feedback, thanks guys. But anyways guys, the main focus of my last episode here in the motherfucking kitchen was to quit being a little bitch. That's what really stood out in everyone's mind. They were like, I need to quit being a little bitch because Matt told me so. All right, yeah. Well today guys, today's lesson, today I'm going to talk to you about deloads. Now you're probably thinking, but Matt, last week you told me to quit being a bitch and now you're telling me to deload. This doesn't make any sense. I know guys, I know, last week I'm like, alright guys, you need to toughen up, pick program, kill it, but now, you gotta take a break. You're probably like all over the place, just <laughs> What the hell, Matt, you're telling me one thing, now you're telling me another thing. Well look, they go together perfectly. All right, y'all, so first of all, let's just clarify what I mean by deload, okay? A deload could be any period of time. It could be a week, it could be two weeks, who knows, even a month. But generally, we're usually talking about one week. Well, there's two different main ways you could do a deload. You could lower your weights that you use, or you could lower your total volume. Or you could do both. During my contest prep, my last contest prep, I would do hypertrophy style workouts for my deload weeks and lower the volume to the volume that I'd be using of a strength week, which would be like 40, 50, you know, even 30 total reps per body part, depending which body part. The deload in the Jim Wendler program lowers the weights that you use. <laughs> now why the hell would I want to do that, Matt? I want to get big, I want to get strong, I want to get big guns like you, Matt. All right, look, we would all just love to go in the gym every single day, kill it, come back the next day, kill it, come back the next day, kill it, come back the next day. But look, we don't even do that, right? We don't go to the gym seven days a week and lift heavy freaking weights. We don't do that six days a week. We can hardly do it five days a week. And for me, you know, four days a week is almost too much. You just can't do that every single day of the year. When you're lifting super heavy weights, your nervous system, your central nervous system takes a toll. Yeah, your muscles might be getting beat up, but when it comes to lifting really heavy weights, your nervous system pays the biggest price. It may not feel like your muscle is that sore. You know, you might feel like your, your muscle is just primed, like there's no soreness whatsoever, you're full of glycogen, but there's just something, this weird connection that you just don't feel right. Okay, guys, that is your central nervous system telling you, whoa, there's something up, and you need a break. That's a good way to gauge when you need to take a deload week. Hell, you might just want to leave the gym right then and there, or just after that gym session, you know, take it easy for the rest of the week, or start a full week from that point to the next week of where you do lower volume or lower weight, or perhaps both. Okay guys, so when do you want to do your deload weeks? Do you want to do them when they hit you, when it feels like, you know, you're too late? when you're hitting a weight and you feel like crap. In my opinion, no, I don't want to start a deload week in the middle of a workout. I want to set my deload weeks in advance so I, you know, I know exactly what to expect. Every workout, I'm going to know I'm going to hit my weights and for my deload weeks, I know that I'm going to take it easy. Look, if you don't have these deload weeks, there are going to be times when you're in the gym and just unexpectedly you feel like crap and those suck. Look, guys, ever since I've been doing these deload weeks, especially in the contest prep, but the Jim Wendler deload weeks as part of my program right now, they are amazing. I'm telling you, I feel great after these weeks where I just take it nice and easy during the workouts. Don't kill myself like the rest of the, you know, the three weeks out of the month. So guys, last week I told you, you know, quit being a little bitch, pick a program and stick to it. Well, this week, guys, I'm telling you, every once in a while, have a deload week. Look, you can't kill the weights every week out of the year. 52 weeks out of the year, you really think you can lift maximal amounts of weights or progress every single week out of that year? Maybe, but I doubt it. I have never heard of anyone <laughs> who has progressed in every single lift, every single workout, etc., etc., for a full year, okay? Eventually, they have workouts where they don't progress, or they have weeks or months where they don't progress. Throwing in a deload workout, I'm sorry, a deload week every month or every two months 
will definitely benefit you in the long run. I'm telling you right now, a D-Load week is a definite good idea. Quick reference, during my contest prep guys, I had a D-Load week every seven weeks. And guys, there's other ways to kind of avoid having to use D-Load weeks, of course. For example guys, if you alternated, you know, heavy weeks with pretty light weeks, you might not need to have a D-Load week. But if you feel like you're generally lifting heavy weights every week, then you might want to have a deload week. You know, every fourth week, every seventh or eighth week. For me, I do every fourth week. Am I fat? Hey guys, do I look fat? I don't know, you tell me. <laughs> I don't know, I'm no Alberto, but it's whatever. Here's today's question. If you had one single rep range in which you had to train every body part, what rep range would you choose? Leave your comments below. Equip me a little bitch! Oh, his cake!